Welcome back. Today's tip from the tech bench involves probably one of my least favorite brands of all time, Bose. This particular unit is a Bose Power Stand Module PS1. This is the one with the big column speaker that sits on top of it. Uh, customer complaint was that it was totally dead. One thing very important to realize on these things is this is your power input here. We've got a couple of chokes and then a rectifier and filtration. They call this the EMI uh, board. Um, unfortunately, there is no transformer on this, so this is directly connected to your AC line. So if you are going to work on one of these things in the bench, you have to use an isolation transformer. Not an option. Really bad things will happen if you don't. So, in this particular case, the customer said it was totally dead. The power supply modules are broken down. Over here is your amplifier board. These are your power supply, the 24 volt positive and negative power supply boards. These things all communicate with each other. This particular board is the auxiliary power supply board and this is where the problems are usually uh, on these. In this particular case, there was one diode here, was the negative uh, 15 volt supply diode, D607, dead shorted. And apparently when that happened, uh, I'm not sure cause and effect could be either way, I suppose. But back here in the chopper side, the uh, FET is a 2SK2645. That opened up. And then if you look way down in there, you'll see this little snubber diode that goes across the FET. And that little snubber was very, very leaky. It's a UF4006. I don't remember what the diode number was, D60 something or other. But... Um, in this particular case, that's what the problem was. I'm not going to bore you with uh, the disassembly on this monstrosity because uh, you got to get this far. It's going to take a long time. To give you an idea, that's all the screws that it takes to get this far. So there's a lot of parts, a lot of layers on this thing to get it apart. Not very serviceable, but uh, people that have them seem to like them. Unfortunately, Bose's attitude is uh, throw it away and buy our new model. So there's no support from the manufacturer at all. So anyway, that's what it takes to fix one of these. And here we have it, all back together, all reassembled, and working as good as a Bose ever works. So remember boys and girls, Bose stands for Buy Other Sound Equipment. 